Hey Carl, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tee up one more question that probably yeah. deserves a 30 minute answer, and I'm gonna give you three minutes to answer. <laughs> oh, good, thank you. No uh, problem. It's Monday. The Me Too movement. Yeah. I'm glad women are coming forward and saying no more to sexual harassment. There's no place for that in the church. There's no place for that in a civil society. But to me, this Me Too movement has been weaponized by okay. radical liberals. Yeah. You've been in law enforcement a long time. Yes. And this women don't lie about these things. Boy, this is dangerous, isn't it? Yes, it's extremely dangerous. Listen, not only was I in law enforcement a long time and saw it from both sides where there were actual victims, and most of the people that come forward are actual victims, but I've also seen, scarily, I have seen false accusations wherein vicious, vicious, nasty, convincing women will come forward. By nasty, I mean their attitude. They will come forward with these horrendous allegations that just, and they will weep and cry and beg and plead. And then in the end of it all, once you bring forth the evidence and put it in their face, the real evidence, they begin to back up and, and snivel and say, well, okay, okay, yeah, I'm, I, I falsely accused him. I just wanted him to do what I wanted him to do. It's a horrible thing. And it's, it's devastating to the person that's been accused falsely. So but here's, here's the point. Here's how ju- jurisprudence does it. Here's how common sense and godliness does it. You always defer to the person who's bringing the accusation, because the vast majority of people who say they have been sexually assaulted have been. You defer. The word defer is different from 100% believe. The word defer means Listen, you give them an ear, you take it seriously, you investigate it as though they are telling the truth. Then the second thing that you do is you presume the innocence of the accused until the evidence is collected to prove that one guilty. That's how we do it in America. The way the Senate, the leftist in the Senate just did it last week or tried to do it was how they do it in China or North Korea or the 57 nations that are Muslim nations. That's what they want for the United States of America. But the way I conducted criminal investigations and the way I conduct my church, listen, as a pastor, I have been involved with law enforcement in uncovering a horrendous sexual molestation case, actually helped depositions, everything else, actually uh, interviewed some of the first victims before the law enforcement did because they didn't even know it, and actually helped and assisted in putting somebody in prison for the rest of their life. So this has not stopped with my law enforcement career. Somehow God continues to use me in these things, which is why, after watching the Senate hearings, I was able to write that piece that went viral that said, she's lying. And now it turns out that's, a, that's exactly what it looks like. Mm. All the evidence points that way. Yeah. But I listened by deferring to her. I thought from the beginning, well, this is pretty serious stuff. I bet they're going to bring some heavy-duty evidence, and it could be that he did this. But as it turns out, apparently the prosecutor wasn't convinced, and neither was the FBI. Oh. Carl Gallup's pastor, best-selling author. Check him out at carlgallups.com. Brother, thank you for your time. We'll talk to you in the month of November. Thank you. God bless you. I look forward to it. You guys are so gracious. Uh, I love the Q90 FM audience, and uh, God bless all of you. Thank you. Same back at you, brother. When we come... For thousands of years, mankind has debated how creation began. Ancient texts tell us the story. But today, the real message behind the pivotal account of the Garden of Eden has been obfuscated and lost. That is, until now. World-renowned author Carl Gallops digs up the hidden truths from the book of Genesis to finally give back the knowledge that was lost to the world. Find out what really happened in the Garden of Eden, what Jesus taught about Eden on the cross, and how the conflict between Jesus and the gods of antiquity is about to erupt on planet Earth, fulfilling biblical prophecy. In the new book, Gods of Ground Zero, this explains everything.